Hello and welcome to our series of videos about mortality. I'm Paul Horwood from Aqua Analytics and I'm joined by my colleague Andy Wilson. Hello. And today we're going to look at crew mortality rates, their construction and how to interpret the data. Let's start with the construction. As with all measures, there needs to be absolute clarity about what is and what is not to be included. This may necessitate discussions about whether to include day cases or not, including certain specialties or not, or even whether it's a very specific measure such as perinatal mortality. There's no right or wrong answer to these questions, it's just a matter of being clear and taking about the decisions taken and being consistent over time. Okay, so where should I start? Well, a fairly broad measure could be the percentage of all patients admitted non-electively that die in hospital. This would mean that numerator would be all patients out of a discharge method of patient died. That's code 4 in the CDS. So the denominator, that would be the number of patients admitted? Well, no, not exactly. The denominator would be the total number of patients discharged in the same period. So that's the number of patients that have been discharged alive and have died in total. Whilst figure for most time periods the same for discharged and admissions, it's important to align the denominator with the numerator for the same time period for, for the calculation. And as patient died is something that happens upon discharge, so we need to use the total number of discharges as a denominator. And when we have our two figures, then we can calculate the rate thus. Okay, but what does it mean? Well, on its own, very little. We need to be comparing it with something. And to start with, we have to be aware that mortality rates are seasonal. This is true for the whole population and whole hospital mortality, such as our example above, and is mainly driven by an increase in respiratory diseases. Interesting, but why are you telling me this? Well, because when making comparisons, we need to be careful to include the same amount of mortality for months at high, higher mortality rates with those at lower mortality rates. So it's no compare, good comparing mortality rates from, say, June, July and August with January, February and March. Okay, so what's the best way around it? Well, there's three ways, and I'm going to actually cover that in our next video.